another newsletter done for my grandmother. Woo! What's going on, guys? How are you today? I'm doing fantastico, even though I'm on four hours sleep. <laughs> Stayed up and did the second last ever newsletter for my grandmother's garden club last night, which is pretty dang cool. Just finish it off, just heading off to the post box now so I could send it off to her so that she can get it all printed up and mailed out to all the members. But yes, very, very, very happy with this one. There was lots of cool photos in it and just things like that and lots of silly garden antics. But yeah, only one left to go. And then and then the reign of, of the one year freaking roped into doing newsletter is over. <laughs> Seriously, trials and tribulations. I think that's I think that's what we'll call the whole event of over the past year of doing all these newsletters. But yes, it is done. One to go. One. Hey everyone, good morning. I don't know if Tanner's already found the clip or not, so I'm gonna say good morning. Uh, I've got a girlfriend coming. Um, oh, shouldn't put it that way. I've got a client coming tonight at uh, oh today at three o'clock. Um, it's about 10 a.m. now, so I'm just doing the last minute clean of the lounge room and the bathroom and the kitchen and the laundry and the back area and the front area and pretty much every area <laughs> because, yeah, you know, you just want everything to be presentable and that. So what would just be a livable clean for us isn't spotless enough for someone else. So, yeah, doing the, the last run through, just pretty much finished off the lounge room doing just packing away the bathroom stuff that mum just used <laughs> so we've got some bb cream some mascara and um yeah so oh, i'm actually a bit nervous about taking on clients again it's been so long like i feel like i've sort of you know lost it but no i'm i don't know and because i'm working with a new dye that i haven't used before and yeah, I just, um, I wanted to be ultra professional, so, yeah, I stepped it up a gear, and, yeah, now I'm sort of doubting myself, so, hopefully it turns out really well. I do plan on recording, not necessarily for the vlog, because as if you guys want to see that, I might do a before and after for you guys, just so you can see how talented I am. Okay, I nearly fell over as I was, like, walking through rooms, because yesterday I started the 30-day squat challenge. And the first day was 50. I wanted to throw up at 28. So um, I kept going though and I finished my 50. So now my legs are all... <laughs> yeah, so I'm... I don't know, I wasn't even confident enough to put Zsa, Zsa to sleep just before. Because um, you have to feed her sitting down and rock her and everything. And then stand up rocking her and then put her in her crib. And I knew that I would have just stacked it with her in my arms. So mum had to do that one. So I'm trying to sort of get my legs back into normal, normal motion because yeah, they're just really like, uh, uh. so today I'm going to do 55. I'm going to die. Okay. So today's day three of our, not really soup diet, but soupy soupness. And I'm just trying to figure out what I should get Tana to make. So what do you reckon? Have a look at the contenders. Minestrone, potato and leek, tomato, pea and ham, chicken noodle. I've already had pumpkin, cross that off. Mushroom and chicken, tomato and butter bean, shredded chicken broth, carrot ginger. Uh, we've already had the chicken, bacon and leek, so cut that off. Oh no, the ch uh, we had the bacon, corn and potato, cross that one off. And there was another one that we had as well, I can't remember which one that was, but yeah. That's all our contenders for the 28 days. 28 days of soup and then I'm going to be all svelte. But yeah, I reckon, I reckon we'll go for a brothy type tonight. So maybe... Maybe chicken noodle. Tell chicken noodle, chicken noodle. Okay, so my client is like five minutes away. Uh, I was really nervous this morning. Um, as you would have seen in an earlier clip, but yeah, now I'm just really excited and I can't wait for her to get here. Um, mum helped me set up my little area behind the kitchen, so this is going to be a permanent, uh, setting. So, yeah, my desk is there 
and um, beside that is my trolley with some makeup and um, all the hair stuff. On top, this is the little chair that we're going to be using and there's just enough room for me to get around her. So I'm taking her from a washed out black and red to like a chocolate brown. There's an inspiration photo of what she was sort of after on my Instagram. So my Instagram username is Bury Me a Velvet. Go have a look at that. And I will put up a before and an after picture on my Instagram this afternoon. It'll probably take about three hours to complete her hair. So yeah, by the time you watch this, it will have been up yesterday because today is today and tomorrow you'll be watching this. So very good. Ready? Drink. Drink. That's just a smarty pants. I don't want a bottle. I don't want a sippy cup. Give me a big girl glass. Give me the big girl glass, please. Oh, oh so the camera. I got you. I got you for 40 seconds and you didn't even know. Oh, oh, I'm drinking. <laughs> she, she breaks contact with the camera to have a drink. Good girl. Look at that, not a drop spilled. Bit more. More. Um, num, 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 num. Oh, there. <laughs> she, lost, she lost focus on the glass. <laughs> Dribbled everywhere. <laughs> you dribbly bum. Yes. You know how beefy's in her walker, right? And some of the Americans said that, oh my god, we can't have those in America because they've been banned because. The pe people put their babies in them and the then their babies fall down the stairs, things like that. I just noticed on the front of Beepi's walker, warning, stair hazard. Avoid serious injury or death, block stairs, step securely before using walker. <laughs> See that right there? That little sticker right there makes the companies have oh. no liability at all. You can't sue them. So I don't know how the law works in your country, but smart just general smartness <laughs> and having a sticker like that protects the company so you can't just sue anybody willy-nilly in australia so yeah be smart baby's had a very unsettling day and anastasia finally rocked her to sleep um, but she's making these little mewy cat sounds so i started the camera in here so she doesn't hear it go off so and it's really dark in there but you might be able to hear her Baby snoring. It's going to be completely pitch black, but I want you to hear this because it's awesome. Is that the cutest thing ever or what? <laughs> 